looking forward to this indeed. It should be an absolute classic. Mark Mattis, Mattis joins us in commentary, bringing you all the expert analysis. Well, I imagine in two days' time you'll be suffering from adrenaline fatigue off the back of that women's, and I've got a sneaky feeling this might just go to another level again on the men's side. It is. These two sides have great history and coming together. So they used to play under a different banner, Auckland and Northern. New names now, but the rivalry is still the same. I'm looking forward to it, Mark. Yeah, that no, should be an absolute beauty, the battle of the bridge, and the two teams do line up, and then we'll just run through that starting lineup for East Coast Bays. It will be Guglielme, Gabuglia, Oban Hawkins, Eduardo Exposito, Espinosa, who leads in the Razine Golden Goal. We've got Art Twig and Crit Twig, who are just affectionately known as Denny. And I tell you what, it's a very good starting nine up for Auckland City. Yes, big Mikey and Taminov in the goal. Thomas Pick and Josh Margetts. Stephen Ashby Peckham and Sean Morgan. Three Futsal Whites in the side for Auckland City in the starting lineup and two for East Coast Bays. Indeed. And both teams well coached and we'll just run through that lineup and just having to look at some of the benches for East Coast Bays too. Some outstanding talent, the likes of Jason Quinlan, Broadhurst. And then you've got that Brazilian influence of Israel Nazio and of course Omar Oliveira Silva. It's also good to see Vaughan Somerville back into the futsal action. A few years out for him, so great to see him coming back in. Of course, Mikey Antaminov tends to take the number one spot. But great to have him back. And Platts Mills as well. He had a good series last year. So looking forward to seeing what he can bring today. And our three referees will be Chris Sinclair, Anthony Riley and Aidan Partridge, which means we've got world-class officiating. We do indeed, two of New Zealand's premier futsal referees, Chris Sinclair and Anthony Riley. We're at both at the World Cup a couple of years ago. Ended up getting stuck overseas for a few months before they could get back into the country. So great commitment for both of them. I know it's time away from the family and, and that experience now comes back to the referees we have here in New Zealand. And just to take you through the format, 20 minute halves, the clock will stop every time the ball goes out of play or there is a stop in play, not dissimilar to what you see in basketball. Rolling substitutes, as many as you want to make. Four players on the court plus the goalkeeper. If we end up going to extra time, it'll be five minutes each way. It'll be an immediate turnaround before we then go to penalties. Contrasting styles, I'm going to suggest Auckland City, a team who like to be patient, they like to build, they like to thread together short passes. Well, I look East Coast Bays, a lot of individual brilliance and they will hit you hard, particularly in transition. I think, I think the thing about East Coast Bays as well, they have some true futsal players, the Twig brothers, Hawkins as well, Espinosa, they, they're all quite very good futsal players, although Hawkins has won the Chatham Cup before, but I, I think he's very much suited to futsal. And, I think the way they play will be a fast movement of the ball. They'll rotate nicely, and, yeah, it'll be good to watch. Yeah, do have a lot of time for Sean Morgan. He is a quality player up front in the 18, so we'll get it underway. It is Auckland playing in the white strip. East Coast Bay is playing in the blue. And just an opportunity early on just to get a bit of a feel, see what each team's doing offensively in terms of the way they're setting up but also defensively looking to just try and thread the needle early and the target was Sean Morgan but just an opportunity for both teams to feel each other out number 16 here for East Coast Bays is Denny Twig one of three Twig brothers Sam and Art so very talented family very confrontation immediately wanting to get up press tight defence from Auckland Back in that fixed it role for East Coast Bays is Eduardo Exposito Espinosa, a player who has the ability to change the context of a game on a dime. Here he is, big man, physical man, goal, leading goal scorer in the Resine Golden Boot. He's been doing that for years as well. It's the thing. He's always come out with true passion. Uh, it plays strong, and you know he's just going from strength to strength in this uh, Super League. There for Auckland City is Josh Marquez. And now opportunity comes first. Goal, goal scoring opportunity. Moments of individual brilliance from Crit Twig. 
And the shot from the left foot, ambitious, but that is the danger of Eduardo Exposito Espinosa. The man with Spanish descent, bringing that Spanish influence to the way this Auckland City side play futsal. I think it's a good start as well. Both sides will just be looking to figure each other out. They kind of did play against each other yesterday. And I think it was Auckland City that came away with the win 4-2 there. Yeah, good high press defence here from City. And so, East Coast Bays will look to try and break them down. But expect this to be a very, very tight. It'll be about key moments, you would imagine. Yeah, I think so. And the players on both sides, you know, Stephen Ashby packing he's got a strong left boot on him, which can get you from anywhere, really. Yeah, Ashby Peckham wearing the number nine shirt. He is captain today. And now they thread it nicely. Opportunity for Morgan. Morgan looking for that far post, but picked off nicely by East Coast Bays. Oh, a lovely little piece of skills, and the shot comes from nowhere. Open Hawkins again. That is what makes futsal so special. Expect the unexpected. This left side, good defence. Plenty of noise from both benches every time the ball does go out or the side is shut down. Yeah, this was a semi-final last year between these two sides. And I think uh, East Coast Bay has almost just ran out of steam when it got to the semi-finals. You've yeah, been lucky enough to observe both teams over the last couple of days. Now chance here for the big man, for the captain, and he, oh, he just rattles the woodwork. We talked about Eduardo Exposito Espinosa, his ability to change a game, his X Factor, his genius. Have a look at the big man go here. Wow, unorthodox off the left foot. He looks to the heavens and he says, I'll take that. And it's East Coast Bay, he's almost against the run of play, leading by one goal to nil. A true futsal goal that. To see the way he just rolled the ball over with the sole of his foot and then just towed that one top corner off the post and in. The man is a freak. Does that take him to 11 goals now for the tournament? Now at the other end, looking to try and hit back. City. Another lovely little ball through, another chance. Got to shut down that space. Auckland just caught napping, and in that split second, they left the door open. And next to Zito Espinosa, well, he walked through the door, came into the lounge, took the television in the fridge, and said, Thank you very much. It'll be interesting to see now how they react to that. This close base can just get into their work and rotate the ball around. Want to hold position for a bit, I'm sure. Another opportunity here for East Coast Bays. Can't this time get the shot in. If it came through Art Twig. with East Coast Bays. Have to see, you really do have to see Sean Morgan get himself heavily involved. He just draws defenders. He's just a busy, busy futsal player. And so Oban Hawkins there. So that'll be a good battle today between him and Thomas Pickett. Both young players, full of energy. Yeah, lovely little switch of play here. Trying to pull the defenders, opens up an opportunity in the middle, but cannot through the needle. So Picking was looking to Mayer's wake into that middle area. Must be an interesting conversation at the dinner table, at the twig table. Do you think they talk anything other than futsal? No, probably not. I'd say it would be, it's probably maybe a bit of outdoor as well, I imagine. And I wonder which one claims to be the best. <laughs> Okay, so nine and six, even Ashburn Picky and Thomas Pickens. So Pickens, I should say, the ball comes in, but easily picked off. Now chance here, they get it back. Oh, good left hand, left foot shot. Starting to have a go. The Auckland I've seen would have, I think last week, just pushed that pass to one side. Very good at set piece though. 
And now they do work it nicely, but it's gone off, and suddenly they've got to get back the transition. Big, heavy piece of defence. Ashby Peckham taking down Mark Twig. No love lost. City happy to switch plate. Come back up through Marquettes. He looks to cross it across to that far post. Certainly great intent from both teams at the moment. But here is the mercurial genius that is the great Eduardo Exposito Espinosa. They've just got to hit him, don't they? Yeah, you've got to, you've got to take him out of the game. And that's the problem with good players like him is when you do mark him tightly, he can get away from you as well. He's got a great control of the ball. He's hold it at his feet so well. And he's dangerous from anywhere. Don't underestimate. Gabuglia arguably scored the goal of the tournament, the goalkeeper. Fetching nicknamed the Brazilian Gorilla. You do love to see it though, don't you? The goalkeeper's going out and having a toe. Yeah, lovely play here. Esposito Espinosa just showing his ability too in that playmaker's role. Really good pass, a good distributor. Chance now, big long shot. Almost takes a deflect and sends the keeper the other way, but fortunately, Mike Antonomov got it covered. Pretty experienced, number one. Mike Antonomov. here from Denny Twig. Oh, City win the little battle. A fight. Find himself down in the first three minutes. But try and come back now. They're a team who like the patient build-up. They're a team who like to thread the needle and get through some very precarious channels and lanes. Some would say you can't pass a ball through, but they seem to find a way. Well, they've played together for so long now, this Auckland City side. Of pretty consistent players. Padel, who's on the court now, and Tamanov, Margetz, Pekin, Ashby Pekin. They've, they've been around for the last five, six years playing together, and I think you see those, I guess, relationships and partnerships out on the court coming through. Another big shot. Oh, great save. Superb there by Gabuglia. It's a brand of football sometimes, I think that you're just watching them, what they're doing, going through the paces, and you expect something exciting to happen, and it comes out of nowhere. Oh, uh, I say, keep, just expect the unexpected. Don't go away. Don't go and get a cup of tea, cup of coffee if you're watching this, because you'll come back, it'll be 3-0. Because someone would have done a little back heel pass or hit a screamer from about 25, 30 metres. It's a remarkable game, fast game. I encourage the youngsters, if you're wanting to be a good footballer, start with futsal because this is where you learn ball control. This is where you learn how to pass in tight spaces. Become a very good midfielder, I would have thought, if you had come from futsal. Chance now down that side, so Twig comes away with it again. Oh, another lovely little piece of enterprise, but boy, they double team them. Now we'll get the corner. So, opportunity just to have a look at set piece here for East Coast Bays. Lucky not to get called for a foul there, I think. But yeah, they've let a lot go, haven't they? I saw it watching the women's final too. There was a couple of situations where I thought the player was a little lucky to not be penalised. Nicely picked off that time by the number five, Tatsuku Yaneto. Yaneto is another very, very busy futsal player. Yeah, had a good look at him at the tertiary champs. He played well. Now, look for the little fake. Now they get, get it across and almost, almost find their big man again in the middle. So. Forcing City to play quickly. Nice skills from Yuneto again. 
Does he have any help? He doesn't. Two players get across and work him over. The danger is, though, that if he does get the pass away, there will be an overlap somewhere. Mm. It's almost as well that with that one goal buff in our... We don't need to press so much on defence to the West Coast Bays. You see them sitting back a little bit more. And why all Auckland City play, they move the ball around quite a lot. Sometimes you can just pretty much let that happen in front of you. You let them keep doing it. So Auckland City have to find something else here to find that passing lane through or just a moment of brilliance. Yeah, as you said, it's almost that zone type defence, isn't it? Just sit back. Hey, let's just shut down the lanes, let these guys pass. More than happy if it goes left and right. They're not coming forward. We've got that lead. Interesting too now that we have seen Jason Quinlan come on, another big man for East Coast Bays. Good skills, good futsal skills. Continues to keep pushing and pressing is Oban Hawkins. Oh, lovely little back heel. The shot comes, but... Stuck there in the middle, having anchored himself there is Tatsuku Yoneto. You can also see almost like the two different styles of the team coming through. East Coast Bay is quite, you know, almost free flowing. Uh, they kind of just play what they can see in front of them. Whereas Auckland City quite well, almost drilled in the way that they do it. They know what they want to achieve out of the play, but it's, uh, it's exciting football. A chance here. Happy to be patient, go back through Dominic Hawkins. And good pressure from Hawkins. So Jason Quinlan takes a rest back on the bench. And they continue to roll the subs on the Auckland City side. So Lunetto will sit down. And coming in for him will be Kern Platt Mills. But we're just so much experience on this bench for Auckland City. What if one way the players only to bring another on? Can they capitalise though? They're happy to be patient. A couple of names missing as well from Auckland City. Sean McKinty off getting married in Queenstown rather than playing out this final series. I'm sure he's sitting in his hotel room watching this. Well, I hope he's not. I hope he's walking hand in hand with his new bride. Oh, I don't think they get married for a week or so. Oh, okay. He was trying to tell me, but. You know, I can't imagine that Holly would not let him watch this. She is a super fan of the sport. We'll normally be here with Wouldn't a sign. be a great start to the marriage, would it? No. If you didn't allow him to watch the final. No. Anyway, we wish them all the very best in the wedding and their upcoming marriage. And Joseph Al Khaleesi as well. I'm not sure where he is. Might be playing outdoor. Did make his debut for New Zealand as well in the recent series they played. And now that was completely up. Sean Morgan very strong in defence. Just working over Dominic Hawkins. And they continue to bring the changes. Coming back on is Thomas Picken. 11.37 remaining. 1-0 East Coast Bays. Moment of individual brilliance from Eduardo Exposito Espinosa. He is a highlight reel. And now they come back down through Hawkins. Hawkins looks to try to thread the needle. Slight breakdown in communication between himself and Art Twig. But great intent. So we have just had confirmation that she is indeed allowing him to watch. She's just sent us a message via social media. Now they turn East Coast Bays. Morgan gets back. So for Auckland City, Josh Marquettes. Ken Platt Mills. And the players on court. And Oban Hawkins with this little set piece close to the goal. Has the shot. In terms of the way Auckland City are setting up, give us a yeah, I, I give, think give us an expert. I think the one thing is that they know that there's still a lot of time left in the game. They're not panicking at the moment. They haven't shifted from their game plan. They haven't tried anything too different yet, which, you know, in futsal, 30 minutes is a very long time. 
and they don't feel the need to have to change away yet. No, um, be patient. Yeah. Stick to your plans, stick to your trunches, don't get rattled. That comes with experience though, doesn't it? Yeah, I mean this team hasn't won it the amount of times, you know, before when they were Auckland as well. A lot of those players are the same. They've had a lot of title wins and they know how to win these big games. So they won't be panicking yet. Um, plenty of time left in the game. They'll just stick with their, you know, normal work, play the big rotations around and, and try and hold position. Chance here. So opportunity looks to step back in. The foul will go against East Coast Bay. So Ken Platt Mills exploiting the proximity. Maybe that's Auckland's best way to go at them, go at them one-on-one -on -one at times. I think you'd just be looking to see, you know, the likes of a Stephen Ashby Peckham, Thomas Pickin, to get the, that space to shoot from a dangerous position. There is Ashby Peckham, the captain. Oh, opportunity was there, just not enough weight on the pass, but does well to rescue the situation. The big number eight, Josh Margetts. Really good futsal from him. Be disappointed with that initial pass from that set piece, but he did a lot to rescue the situation, and now they've got another opportunity from the corner, and this is where they are very clever. Real strength of Auckland City is from positions like this. Do not, they will find a way. They will use their dummy runners. That shot comes, and almost the back heel. That's what we talk about. Don't blink, ladies and gentlemen. Futsal at its finest. Kern Platt Mills then, trying to conjure up another television moment. So did you just feel in the last couple of minutes that we are just seeing a bit of a momentum shift go back the way of I think, yeah, Auckland I think, City? I think the way that East Coast Bays are playing, they're, they're trying to counter Auckland at the moment. So they're almost sitting back. Oh, great effort. Great effort from Morgan. It's a good save too. Uh, I think it allows Auckland City to almost find their way back in if they're just trying to counter them. You see the way that possession stats are probably now quite in favour of Auckland City. They're almost dominating it through that way, which will kind of create that pressure and lead to that mistake. Yeah, another hustle, another shot right this time. Big left foot coming from Ashby Peckham. Surprised that Eduardo Exposito Espinosa sitting on the bench. Need him on. Need to bring the big fella on. Bring the X Factor. He is a goal scoring machine. I think he has joined us again. So he is back on. This time Acti Moore in that fix-it roll. And it goes across, looks to cover. Chance here, picked off. And then there's now Exposito Espinosa. Creating havoc, not just on attack, but also letting Auckland City be aware of his physical presence. And that fix-it roll at the back. This is a test here for East Coast Bays to just hold some position for a bit longer. This Auckland City are just suffocating them at the moment. That press is coming and turning it over straight away. Yeah, Oban Hawkins there back on too. Plenty of experience and forces the shot from wide, almost a, a shot of desperation. But they continue to pepper this East Coast Bays goal. What they just don't want to do is get hit in transition, do they? Find themselves down by two goals to nil. That's right, and when you do press harder, it does open those opportunities. So, Art Twig, Crit Twig, or as they know him as Denny Twig, back on. It's a strong four. Oban Hawkins and the captain, Exposito Espinosa. But they now, right ball, just too much weight on it. From the captain, Stephen Ashby Peckham. Saw. Thomas picking free, just couldn't find him. And now, this goes Bays, looking for the long ball. I think that's just at the moment, they're just kicking away position a little bit too often. Oh, picked off this time, the brilliance of the captain. Does he go himself, does he rattle the woodwork again? Thought he might have just pulled the trigger, but he decided to take it to the line, but Ashby Peckham, too good on this occasion. It's almost been a bit too nice here, I think, was Espinosa. Just we should have put his head down and gone for goal. He could just rattle the woodwork, can't he, from anywhere. But that's better from East Coast Bays. They need to do that more often. If the counter's not on, they need to pull up, get into their rotational work, and try and hold possession for extended periods of time. Oh, there it is! The second one does come. Art Twig. Have a look at this. 
And it's Espinoza. Oh, is that a known goal? What happened be. there? Did it come perhaps off the City defender? You can't blame Mohamed Fadine Fahim. But just the sheer velocity and power from Eduardo Exposito Espinoza. You mentioned it. You have to shut him down. And again, the danger of sending that ball towards the back post. You just don't know what can happen. And really now, City have got to find their own moment of genius. They need to, I think, want to play the way they're playing, but they need an X-Factor moment from an X-Factor player. And who is that going to be? Oh. Another opportunity comes, and there he is. Oh, he could get him left foot, right foot. Man, there's a shotgun, isn't he? I think the brand, I mean, I really like what East Coast Bays are doing at the moment. Just like them to hold position for a little bit longer if that count is not on, or that set piece isn't on. In this situation here, if they can just recycle and just get into their rotational work, I think they'll find it a little bit easier. So Art Twig heavily involved in that number 15 shirt. And now here is the captain. We'll bring you a close-up of that goal once we have a stoppage in play from a different angle, but really, really well worked from Eduardo Exposito Espinosa. You can see here probably whether it's going to be the own goal here. Just fired into the back post, and it was, unfortunately. Moving at pace, though, not a lot he could do there. No, look, I think every player in any defensive position has played futsal or football long enough. We all have those little moments. Really, they just needed to shut the captain down. Good pressure now, good press defence. Sometimes just the one-man press, sometimes collectively. And now City, I wonder whether they call a timeout and just look to slow things down again and shift that momentum. Yeah, I think that's the right play here, Mark. Just the way they Pickens' head dropped when they couldn't get that touch quite right. I think it's time to just resettle the players, trust in the process, and just have a little bit of a break to reset. Gabuglia. Oh, here he is. Now another oh. shot at the other end. Oh, wow. This time coming from big Jason Quinlan just turned and just in a pivot, just drilled it. You think you shut down Esposito Espinosa, then you've got the physicality of broad of Jason Quinlan. He's acting now in that pivot role. Esposito acting as the fixer. So big man up front, big man at the back. And really at the moment, City just being worked over, just being monstered in defence. Can they find a way through? There's a lot of energy coming from that East Coast Bay's bench as well. They're celebrating everything at the moment. And do they believe? Yeah. And it will be. We'll go to Gabuglia. That is one of the skills, actually. Just talking to the chance now. Big shot. Oh, game. Really testing Mike Antimanov in goal. Come up the other side though. Tight. Can't find the intended receiver, so just almost in tennis terms, a bit of an unforced error. City just a little bit rattled here at the moment. And I just wonder whether it's this man here, Sean Morgan, who has the ability. And they just again work him over. This time the defender being Dominic Hawkins. I think where Auckland City got back into the game is when they held position for an extended period of time. And, they, and they've stopped doing that at the moment. They're just shooting the ball away and almost giving it away too often rather than just holding on to it, getting into their rotational work and forcing the pressure from possession. So I'd like to see them get back into that and I think that's how they'll get back into this game. Yet to see the Mia Mia brothers come on for Auckland City. Jaw and Mong. Now big shot comes. Oh, great effort. 
Well, that would have made the highlight reel. Superb effort from Josh Marquettes. But set piece here, what do they do? They have to just thread the needle. Can't do it, they'll pick up another corner though. Interesting to see now they rotate that corner. So Morgan comes back into play and it will be Alec Podal. Powell Padel. Padel. He's been around for a while. I think the other thing about Auckland City as well, we, you know, there's a few young players that were up and coming who have since gone to Europe. Hamish Gray, good example, playing, I think, second division yeah, in Italy. Great to have players having a pathway now through to professionalism and futsal. And understand the appeal. Hope you are enjoying the coverage. Now, opportunity here again. Well, is it Quinlan? The big shot, or was it their captain? It was big Jason Quinlan. I like what he's injected to the game. He just brings more physicality only at the other end. And as we talk about physicality and brilliance, that opens it up here. Chance to make it three. Good piece of keeping, though, from Antonimov. Came off his line, shut the angle down. But Auckland rattled well and truly. Just that you can see there, just that first touch there from Hawkins. Just needed to roll it a little bit more to give himself that space to be able to use that left foot shot. So he almost got himself into a little bit of trouble there with his first touch. Quinlan trying to just turn and pivot, pulls the trigger but wide. That ball taken out by Bays, but it will be City who gets play back underway. And now Chance here, need to just press a little bit higher. Bays happy just to stand off and just not accurate at the moment, not accurate enough, Auckland City. And the big shot comes, but comfortably taken. And I'm surprised the timeout hasn't been taken at this point. And just, just calm, Auckland down, find himself down 2 0. Sean Morgan pushing forward, acting in that pivot role, but he gets the ball taken from him. Oh, wonderful tackle. Great tackle from Stephen Ashby Peckham. It needed to be made too. He's not afraid of a challenge like that, no, that's for sure. He's a quality futsal player. Inside of him in the number 13 is Michael Soph. Now brings it back inside. Chance here. Just cannot. Oh, brilliant! 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 Wow! That is just a superb futsal goal. Look at that tweak. Just threads the pass. What a wonderful piece of play from East Coast Bays. They extend their lead to three goals to nil. Just the way that the Auckland City aren't quite defending in the right structure there. But that runner coming through at the back post again, unmarked, too easy at the moment. They just need to sit back a little bit, I think, here and just stop this onslaught at the moment. Yeah, just lost their shape at the back, you know, pressing high, not getting back. And then just a the counter-attack, but... Oh, it's just great vision. Played really quickly. But I don't think the, you can take away from East Coast Bays. That's fantastic, that's all. That's a great, great movement of the ball. And, and just finding your open man yeah. at the back post. Almost did it again. Just threading that needle. Just crisp passing through some very channel, narrow channels, very narrow lanes. But finding a way. So they put back on. Let's just have a look at this from a different angle. Goes around. And that is simply superb. And it is Twig's. Twig Brothers, uh, Twig and Denny Twig. Still fighting, still scrapping. And City just being shut down now by a high press defence too coming in from East Coast Bays. It's a great brand of futsal. It's a, I mean, it's fantastic at a game like this. We're seeing a team play in this way on Sky Sport. Wonderful advertisement. Hope you are enjoying coverage here of the Ford 
Futsal Super League final. The battle of the bridge between East Coast Bays of Auckland and Auckland City themselves. Earlier today, we saw Waikato beat the Bay of Plenty for the bronze. And then Papakura won the women's final in a penalty shootout against East Coast Bays. That's better from Auckland City there, just moving the ball around a little bit quicker. That header just wasn't quite on target, but that's what they need to do. Oh, they need to be the next team to score, don't they? Auckland, they've just got to somehow shift the momentum here. They just look rattled, though. East Coast Bays just look the more physical team. And then they just bring that through the twigs, just that athleticism. Yeah, the they're technical players, really technical in the way that they move the ball, pass and move. There's a lot of movement on the court. And then they've also got players that can score from anywhere, <laughs> which makes it very difficult to defend. So it's a strong team. Very nice. Initial pass, but just getting beaten at the moment by just greater accuracy from East Coast Bays. 3.28 remains in this first half. This Coast Bays again. They continue. Let's just get in. Now, chance here to break out. Morgan got no help, though, no support. Still finds a way through, but eventually just his luck runs out. As Sam Twig, the third of the Twig boys, gets across and shuts that down. Still time though for Auckland City, they'll know that. I'm sure McDowd's will have it all sorted out at half time. Yeah, just no shape to their game there, is there? Just no cohesion at all. How can they look to slow it down? Yeah. Yeah, and what we've seen from East Coast Bay sometimes committing two players, aren't they, in defence and just forcing that turnover. Contact, but referees say play on. Almost at the other end, chance here. Can't quite get to it, just over the top. You talk about transition play, great chance there for Thomas Pickin. Wonderful athleticism. And somehow, East Coast Bay survive. A good opportunity there for Auckland City. Tao come out onto the court to mop that up. Yeah, great opportunity there. Just couldn't quite get it on target, and the keeper did well. We did talk before, though, just about East Coast Bay's holding position for longer periods of time, and they've managed to find their way back in to do that now, and that's just kind of almost it's, it's suffocating Auckland City at the moment. Gabuglia goes long. The ability now, chance. Got to move it quickly, though. Two players immediately come across and take out Thomas Pickin. Desperation stuff, and again, Sam Twig involved. Been busy since he's come on. This is Twig. Pass to no one, and Gabuglia gets away and sends down Espinosa, who brings it back in, looking to find Oban Hawkins, who wasn't far away. Hawkins again. Twig turns. Three referees today Chris Sinclair, Anthony Riley, and Aidan Partridge. Josh Marquette now has to set himself back up defensively. So, what can they do? Well, it's a kick in. It is an opportunity for some set piece here. It's close enough. Oh, lovely work. Lovely little use of that one two. And now, a chance to break clear. Go on his own. Kern Platt Mills 
the attacker for Auckland City. This hasn't quite come together for them yet, but just be able to find that way and they're kind of almost forcing it a little bit more than they probably would like to. But that's due to the pressure, yeah. isn't it, that East Coast Bays continue to put on them. And I think, and where they, Auckland City need to go, they need to go back to their game plan, which is to hold the ball probably for extended periods of time. But instead, they've, because they're behind by three, they're just forcing it that little bit too much. I don't think the, the, pre, the press is necessarily there. It's just the way they're choosing to value position. Now, looking for something here. Oh, good effort. But Gabuglia. Too good. You've got to really try and use that far post. He's just too good a keeper. He caught a foul there as well. On the keeper. As Josh Margetts hobbles away. Yeah, I'm not sure they would have thought they'd be down 3 0 at half time. And that's the way it's heading. If you are enjoying coverage of the Ford Futsal Super League. Special thanks to Ford for their sponsorship. And we encourage people out there that if you're in the market for a new car and particular model and design, Ford's part of the decision making process. Please go with those brands that support the sport you love. Great piece of defence. Better though from City. And now. Pass to nowhere again. East Coast off the counter attack. Big Espinizo in the middle, drawing the defenders. Oh. And somehow, somehow, they sneak another one in. This time, it comes through Dominic Hawkins in the number 12. Have a look here. And just acting as a decoy is their captain, Eduardo Exposito Espinosa. He is everywhere. That time, he just almost in a blocking role, which is completely legal. And you've got a feel for Mike Antonimov. Yeah, it's a great finish there from Hawkins. Just toes it low. And Espinosa does enough to hide, get in the way of Antonimov's eye line there. And it finds its way to the back of the net. 4-0. Well, this is starting to go south very quickly for Auckland City. They just need to find a way. They just need to score next. I think that's the, you know, that's the scoreboard pressure, isn't it, in any game. I mean, obviously with futsal, momentum can shift really easily. They'll know that it can come out in the second half and things can change. But at the moment, they're just being forced into making errors. Yeah. Yellow card. No need for that. Yellow cards, of course, it will be a red. And then that team will be down to four players for two minutes. And three players on court and one on the goal, of course. And now opportunity to look to try and drill this. And can't. Successful. Interesting call there from referee Anthony Riley. Saying that Josh Margett's got in the way of the wall. Yeah, just 19 seconds remain in that first half. East Coast Bay's in the blue. Auckland in the white if you've just joined us. This is the final of the Ford Futsal Super League. There's Pullman Arena in South Auckland. And now they look to break clear again. Really good piece of play once again. He's been tremendous since he's come on, Dominic Hawkins, and drew three defenders then. And it's half time, and it's East Coast Bays who go into half time by four goals to nil. Not too many people knew, everyone knew this would be close in the Battle of the Bridge. Not too many people believed it would be so one sided in terms of the score after the first 20 minutes. It's been clinical from East Coast Bays in this first half, and Auckland City have got it all to play for in the second. A lot of work to be done by Auckland if they're to find some way back into this final. Joining me bringing you all the expert comments is the voice of the sport, Mark Matsis. Mark, plenty of discussion going on amongst the senior players, the likes of Peck and Margetts, Ashby Peckham. 
Yeah, I mean, Auckland City have got to find a way back in. They've got to be next to score. I mean, I think five goals could almost be a mountain too high. And the way emotions work in the sport as well. I think if you go behind a bit too much, you just let things get to you. So they'll really have to come out strong in this second half. Well, they start to live rent-free inside your head, don't they? It starts to become a bit psychological. They need to score first, and they need to score quickly. They need to shift the momentum in their own the first five minutes of the second half. A very impressive Sean Morgan playing in that pivot roll up front for Auckland there in the number 18 shirt. But it's been Art Twig, Crick Twig, and the Twig brothers, Sam as well, who have been big contributors and then backed up by the brilliant Oban Hawkins. Goalkeeper's been superb, and Gabuglia. But the X Factor player, the big danger, he just draws defenders as their captain and the Razine leading goal scorer, Eduardo Exposito Espinosa. Yeah, he's been clinical tonight. Yeah, it's better from Auckland. Now, yeah, and they get the pass in, and almost, almost. What have we got here? Just the movement of a goal, I think. So, just have a look here. First opportunity here for Auckland City and almost sneaks it way underneath, but moving the goal there, so stop play, get it back into position. Yep, Thomas Pickin looking to find Sean Morgan on that far post. Almost scores on his own. That's why Stephen Ashby Peckham is on. There is Morgan. That's better play. More urgency maintaining their shape a little bit better. Garbuglia, another brilliant save from the man from Brazil. Scored a brilliant individual goal himself as a keeper last week. Just electric off the way of he dives off his feet here, just from almost nowhere, just pushes out and manages to parry that one away. And I'm a big fan of the goalkeeper celebration every time they make a save. Oh, absolutely. I mean, you know, the, the goal scorers are allowed to celebrate. Well, technically, he's preventing a goal, which is as good as scoring, if that makes sense. Definitely. It's big in Brazil as well. See, sometimes even people, when they do tackles, they'll celebrate. It's a little bit ridiculous in the NFL, isn't it, when you've got one job to do. They make a tackle and then they celebrate, and you go, yeah, but you're getting paid $100 million to do that. Probably do the same as well if I was being paid that much. Go ugly up. Goes long. But well read across there. And that fix-it roll. Thomas Pickin. They've come out stronger, I think. At the start of this half, Pickens been able to find a bit of space and get a few shots away. You see the conversations at half time are working at the moment. Yeah, they don't look as rattled, do they? Maintaining their shape a lot better. Just not getting drawn in to an individual battle. But equally, too, I'll argue that perhaps East Coast Bays are need to maybe go back more to that press defence. It's really just a clock now, isn't it? It's time for East Coast Bays, and if they can hold out, Auckland City, they'll win the game. And they've essentially got three mistakes they can make, mm. and they'll still win. But I'm sure they'll still come forward. So the best forward of, you know, defence is attack. Especially in this game, you can't really sit back and absorb for 20 minutes. So Art Twig there in the number 15 shirt. But it's Auckland City. Try and just bring it now back into East Coast Bay's half. If you can thread the needle, and that's the problem when you press high, it creates the opportunity at the other end. Good piece of keeping, and somehow City survive, and now it's Morgan. He needs to make some opportunity here. Great pass, just a little bit too much weight on it. Thomas Pickin, both teams guilty in transition. Well, it was Twig that went for the placement, didn't he? he tried to just dig that one through Antaminov. And then the opportunity for Auckland City. Just that final pass is not working at the moment. Better from Auckland though. Really putting now East Coast Bays under a little bit of pressure when they're on the ball. And being more patient themselves once in possession. Ball goes out. That's that pressure from the press there. Twig coming forward on pick-in. Just forcing the error from him. Play back underway. Exposito Espinosa. Nice to find Mark Twig. And Morgan 
little bit of moment. He's a good player, Morgan. He needs to be heavily involved. He draws defenders. Now. Yeah. Big roar goes up from the East Coast Bay's bench because they annul another attack. Morgan. He'll pick up the foul. And he will be substituted. And for Auckland, it will be Tatsuku Yaneto who will come on. This is Yaneto. He's a busy, busy futsal player and almost off just a second touch. Goes close to getting a foot on what was a very good pass. They're finding a bit more space now behind Auckland City. Just that last pass they haven't quite been able to get right. Better from Auckland. Just a bit better now, but with pressure coming that time from Oban Hawkins. I think that's what they were doing better in that first half when they were building more pressure. Was holding the ball like they were just then, almost making East Coast Base come and get it rather than just giving it away. I'd like to see them do that a little bit more in this half. Just trust their processes. Four goals is a huge amount. Yeah, good play here. We do that again, heavily involved. You're in that, when you're on defence deep in your own half, you just have to go man on man with Eduardo Exposito Espinosa. Somewhat of an ambitious wayward shot there from Denny Craig. Twigs, I should say. Well, I have made those ones work. Yeah. This game. We'll win another one, but referee says no. He stomped on him. I'll tell you what. East Coast Bay's bench not happy. Two fouls as well in the first four minutes. Yeah, so that's one area where East Coast Bay's got to be careful. Of course, if it gets to five fouls, every foul after that, they will go to the 10 metre penalty spot. There's a 10 metre and a 6 metre penalty spot. Those red dots there you see in the middle of the court. I think as well with the likes of Ashby Peckham and Margetts, it's not something you want to give away. No, now chance here. They look to switch play. It's opened up once again, lovely piece of play, bit of trickery coming in, Yaneto to the rescue though. But it's East Coast Bay showing, again, some innovation. Not afraid to mix it up. It's, it's unpredictable, lot. I think. That's what seems to be working yep. at the moment for them. You can't read it and they're trying different things throughout the game. Well, I was going to say, they've relied on just moments of individual brilliance and then they put some of the best futsal um, team stuff together. Been a really interesting one. And the, and the passing's clinical as well. They, they've been able to hit those lines really well, and at the moment, Auckland City don't have an answer for it. So, East Coast Bay's four, Auckland City nil. 15 and a half minutes from any time the ball does go out, the clock will stop. Uh, it's a game that's a lot like basketball. There's an element of water polo in it. And a lot to do with ice hockey in terms of the way you can substitute and bring different lines on at different times. So here is Exposito Espinosa. This time they do work him over. It's a nice work being done by Mokum Sof in the number 13 shirt for Auckland City. Leading goal scorer, the Razine Golden Boot, the big man. Scored an absolute crack at open the scoring in this final. Rattled the woodwork. Mike Anthony went off. Back. Another little technical foul by the looks of it. Is it like calling it a corner, in fact. So, yes, it is a corner, I believe. So, took a while to make that decision, but they've come back for it right in the end. So, Auckland City have three players who have played for the Futsal Whites. Anthony Moffin, Gold, Margetts, and Ashby Peckham. 
And now Twig with the big left shot and almost, almost finds a way through for East Coast Bays. Oban Hawkins, Crit Twig have equally played for Futsal Whites. Oh, not a great pass, picked off, chance here, and somehow East Coast Bays survive. But really good opportunity there taken by Michael Soth. I've got to say, Soth has made a difference since coming on too. Just, just sport, just seems to have brought just a, a calm nature to the Salton City side. Coming in front, chance at the other end and looked to pull the trigger. Turned on a dime and had a big shot. It's the big man Quinlan. No, it is the big man. Yep, Jason Quinlan in fact, yep. No, you're right. He's played well today. Big number eight. He's been strong. He's held the ball well and had a good touch, which has made the, like, moves like that really effective. And to run off. Gets it out. So time's starting to run down. Just under 15 minutes remaining. Still plenty of time in the world of futsal. I just think one goal will change that momentum. We talk about it quite a bit. Of, you know, just one goal can completely turn a game and, and, and Auckland City have to be the ones to score next. They do now, look to go down this right side. To play it. Oh, looking for that through ball to Yanetto. Yeah, great piece of individual skills here. It's superb from Twig. Gets worked over though, Sam Twig. Yellow card seen as very cynical. I think that card might have gone the way actually of Jason Quinlan. I think it was picking actually. It's their fourth. Oh, it was an Auckland City oh, foul. Auckland there. City yep. foul, my apologies. So Thomas Picken. Okay, my, uh, do I need to apologise then to somebody? Nah. Not at all. In fact, I went the wrong way, didn't I? So. It's a chance here for East Coast Bays. Yeah, things about that, you know, those fouls there, it just gives East Coast Bays time to relax on the ball, take, you know, wind down a few more minutes each time they, they get a, an advantage like this. And it forces Auckland City to chase the game. Yeah, and that's oh. the thing, we've got it. It's almost getting to that time now where Auckland City need to think about fifth man. Four goals down, 14 minutes to go. Yeah, I think they'll be. I think what they've got to do too, because oh now chance turnover. Twig has a shot, brilliant save. Follow up comes, another brilliant save, but it goes in, and just like that, East Coast Bays extend their lead to five goals to nil. You've got to feel for Enterman off the goalkeeper because he did everything right here, but it was just another poor pass. That's brilliant initial shot coming from Art Twig, and then across the far side. No Dominic Hawkins scores yep. his second. No support there from his defence, unfortunately. Made a big first up save and then it just fell again. But it's all going the way of East Coast Bays at the moment. Yeah, everything they're touching is going. Another opportunity open up here. Can they make it six? Brilliant skills. Hawkins again. Wow. Futsal at its finest, ladies and gentlemen. Stand up, acknowledge East Coast Bays. Art Twig this time. Just giving an exhibition in excellence. Superb futsal. And Auckland, well, they're dead and buried. That is some fantastic futsal there. And I think Auckland City here are complaining about the goal not being in the right position, but it was them that moved the goal. So I don't know if you can just push a goal away when you're, uh, you're about to have a goal scored against you. So the goal will stand. But it's been an absolute clinic here from East Coast Bays. Now, Sean Morgan, a man who's looking to do Iron Man. Very close to my heart, 3.8 kilometres from, 180 kilometre bike ride, 42 kilometre run. So if he's in training, I imagine he's got no problem with the fitness side of this. Slightly different aerobic system though. It's going to be a lot more stop-start, a lot more explosive. Iron Man tends to be a little bit more steady all day. We wish him all the very best for that. And there he is, the man who has scored a couple of goals, Dominic Hawkins. Yeah, he's played well, the number 12. And now City 
Looking to just try and salvage something. This time looking for the long ball, going for the hit. But can't find it by Ashby Peckham, their captain. Interesting thing here as well is that Auckland City haven't taken a timeout. I think the, the way that the momentum has shifted there, two goals in a short succession, really worth just calling a timeout and just calming things down, going through the processes again. And, and you've got to say, fifth man's got to come soon. Yeah, Josh Marquette's been good defensively, but once again, the Twigs involved. Now a chance here to break out. No support, though. He's going to have to go on his own and does pull the trigger. Has a very good shot. Great effort from Ashby Peckham. Kept it nice and low, too, on the angle. That's just been crushed at the moment. It's good defensive work there on Ashby Peckham. He does favour his left. It's definitely you don't want to show him that side. So if you can, the best thing to defend with him is to push him onto his right. He still scores them. Uh, probably say something like he can't score a goal with his right foot and he'll do it straight away. So it's definitely more favourable on his left. Now go Buglia. Well out of goal. He'll back himself. He's got that luxury now of knowing that we've got to find six, seven to win it. In the space of 12 minutes 42. I know we've seen some remarkable things in futsal over the years. This would be the, one of the great comebacks. Somehow they found a way. They just haven't quite looked like kind of forcing that pressure through scoring goals. It's, it's been little passes like that that just haven't found feet. Heavy touches. Just hasn't been their day today. Yeah, I watched them play in the very first game of this competition and they were very much the team about opportunity. East Coast Bays and you felt that City were the better side but you can't say that today I think that yes as you said they've been very unpredictable they've almost been a little bit um, what's the word yeah slightly ad hoc and have just bought a combination of everything they've played the team game when they've needed to play the team game it's just been those few moments as well uh, that's what hasn't quite fallen there for Auckland City that individual brilliance a good strike or a touch that's just fallen to the right way it, just hasn't happened for them today. So Thomas Pickin gets it back underway, tries to thread the needle, can't do it. Got to say, Denny Twig has been superb, as is his brother Sam and Art. Misses that one on that time, Morgan. And now Exposito Espinosa getting himself involved. So captain back out on court. To make sure Auckland just hold their heads high, don't drop their shoulders. Still got to believe. They've also got to press for the next 12 minutes. They, they can't sit back and just wait for it to happen. They have to bring the game to East Coast Bay. So that means shorter shifts. It's a heavier workload, but it needs to be done if they're going to find a way back into this game. And go back to 2004. I remember a lot of people leaving at half time when Liverpool played AC Milan at Ataturk Stadium in that Champions League final. And Liverpool found a way and ended up winning it. And a lot of people were disappointed that the fact they did go home and didn't have faith. Or you can even put a futsal spin on that game between Northern and Southern United. Northern, which is this East Coast Bay side, up 5 mil at half time. Lost 7 6 in the dying second of the game. Wonderful game. I imagine that would have been just a stunner. That was absolutely incredible. And it didn't even, like, Southern United didn't look like they were going to try and score, or just take it to extra time. They went long and got a header goal. It was uh, some game. <laughs> and that's what, yeah, but that's the great thing about sport, isn't it? Just expect the unexpected at times. I mean, clearly the odds are well and truly in favour here. But almost a goal there for Morgan. And so they are starting to press now. And it's those chances that just haven't fallen for them so far today. Good Buglia. Let's play underway. Got to be careful here. Good press defence coming from the city now. Putting a lot of pressure on the player with ball at foot now can they turn this into an opportunity Morgan passes it back good effort just couldn't quite get enough velocity on it Ashby Beckham the captain need a little bit more power on the shot but good enterprise being shown but now at the other end Quinlan just picks it off too good and their big captain Eduardo Exposito Espinosa 
from the transition. Brilliant from Quinlan. Gets it across. And just like that, East Coast Bays drive another nail into the coffin. It's the way their players there can hold on to the ball with pressure on them. Hawkins there just held on to it and somehow found, <laughs> found an open man. Auckland City didn't track back in an easy tap in at the back post. And picked off again by big Exposito Espinosa. Everything they're doing now very much in the zone. It's an old cliche. This will be one of the rare moments. I can't imagine too many times where Auckland have been down by seven goals. Not with the quality of Antimov, Margetts, Ashby, Peckham, Morgan. Picking. Oh, big shot. So that rattled the woodwork. Yeah, look at this. Great vision. Great pass from Quinlan. The way he moved his body, wasn't it, to sell that dummy and clinical. Yeah, just that little swivel that create the illusion. Can't blame Anton them off. All the goals have been really well worked. Good team goals. No, he hasn't played badly in, in goal. Just hasn't been able to get anything on them. No, great again here from Faze and rattles the woodwork. This time, Oban Hawkins, whose parents or mum certainly here watching today. Had a chat to her prior to the game. And now they go to Platt Mills. Great piece of skills that's really nicely done by Denny Twig. This does the 360, the squid man, on it, 1986. Does that little spin and turn. Yeah, I think you'll see East Coast Bays just relax into it now and oh. show some of that skill that they have. Yeah, just playing with freedom, aren't they? Just playing with freedom, just so much belief. And we go Espinosa again. The man's a magician. Stephen Ashby Peckham, the captain. Not giving any opportunity because Oban Hawkins was there to steal it from him. And now they come again down this right side. Look to try and come in close, close, close. Game of percentages. We've talked about it. Nothing going Auckland's way at the moment. On any other date, they might have been, might have had four. They now look to get it across. Better enterprise. So Mohammed Fardin Fahim. Mohamed Fardim Fahim the Dream. A big shot, and they do get one. And they finally do get one. And it comes through Mohamed Fardim Fahim the Dream. Lovely little set piece here. That's what they've been looking to do. Mind you, you can blame East Coast Bays if they've just switched off just a little bit. Knowing that they've got that six goal buffer still. Gotta be careful though. Here. Now, oh, no, it's not too slow on it. Quinlan again comes back across and finds Maxwell. And that goal again came from the left foot of Stephen Ashby Peckham in a bit of space. And a back post run. And saying it all day, so if you are at home and want to score goals in football, just hang out at the back post. Now, yeah, another shot. Be from Bregan again. So nine minutes remain. Come down the right hand side, look to thread the needle, almost gets away with two better. More enterprise in football now from City. Stephen Ashby Peckham looking to try and take charge as the captain. They now look to try and go long, look to work it back, but turn it over to Quinlan. And we'll go back to Exposito Espinosa. That's good game management there from West Coast Bays. Push forward with the opportunity for the keeper to shoot. They try to go long, but comes back and they just slow the play down and waste a few minutes. Oh, brought down. Foul will go. 
go against. Let's just keep an eye on that foul count. So, you pick up another foul. And they look to try and thread the needle. Really good futsal there. Just couldn't quite find his balance, but much better futsal here from Auckland City. But it's all coming just a little bit too late. Well, they needed that goal at 4 0, probably. Arguably at nil all, but I think there was bigger chance of getting back into the game the earlier they scored, and might just be a bit too late now. Now. Buglia gets play back underway through his captain, Esposito Espinosa. Happy to push up this right side. So it is a case now for East Coast Bays. A little bit of game management. And Quinlan, who's had a really good run, exits. And coming on now for East Coast Bays is the number 12, Dominic Corkin. Scored a couple of cracking goals himself. So using their bench well, really good management. Oh, brilliant from Twig to Twig. From Mark Twig to Denny Twig. Lovely little piece of footwork. That deft little touch. Again, all consider you have to chase it, so they've got to put pressure on them early. And if they don't, it's just going to be easy for East Coast Bays to see out the minutes. And then the other problem facing Auckland City is the way they've been playing, holding possession of the ball, that's wasting time. So they've got to be a little bit more direct now, I think, and just take an opportunity and score quickly. Yeah, you're right. Just pull the trigger, play with a bit more urgency, play one-touch football, play with a little higher tempo. You lose a few passes inaccurate. Well, nothing ventured, nothing gained. And I wonder at what point do they pull their keeper. Yeah, I'm surprised they haven't done it earlier. That's one thing I'd say in this game. When you're 7-0 down, it's not such a risk. You know, when you're, lead, when you're down by one goal, it's, it's more risky. But they've got the opportunity to kind of rattle them a wee bit. Oh, a chance. Lovely little back heel. Brought down, though. And that will be a penalty, possibly a yellow card. Very cynical. He will go to the pocket. It will be a yellow. And so Michael Soph is the player, is it? Try and pick up the number there. I don't think it's safe, so it's there, but I'm not sure he was the guilty party, was he? My my baby. Yeah. So Mia Mia. Oh, Mia. Long and Jewel Mia. Yeah, I think you're right. So now. So it is Jaw Mia on. And that's to well and truly seal the deal. So don't be surprised. See a little bit of trickery here. And they just step over it. Now the pass should go off to the other far side. They go to the right side, left footed shot. Coming from Dominic Hawkins. Another opportunity at set piece. They play it quickly. Hawkins again, but. Nicely churned and gone. Thomas Pickens now needs some support. Finds it. Brilliant from Mia. And this is where East Coast Bays can just sit back now. Yeah. Just let Auckland City play around with the ball at the back. They just need to see them be a little bit more direct. And then what's happening is they're, they're then pushing it forward and losing possession of the ball like that. Yeah, and then that transition play comes. And that's where they have been hit a couple of times, East Coast, well, Auckland City. But really, it started with a moment of absolute brilliance from Exposito Espinosa. It's been uphill ever since for Auckland City. Okay. The wayward cross, but as long as the ball's in play, the clock ticks down. And so, East Coast Bay, six minutes away from winning the Super League title. Good hustle. 
Good hustle from East Coast Bays. Denny Twigger there again. They've just found a way that each time that they feel that there's a chance, they've just pressed really hard. And that double team there is a great example of it. You could hear it come, the call comes, and they all move in. And so we've had both Mong and Joa Mia come on for Auckland City. So we'll have a look at Anton Moff. Puts a white goalkeeper. Back down that side again, just playing with them now, up eight base. Another big shot. Anthony Loft did well to get across. It was always missing, but had it covered. I think what's amazing about this game, you've got some absolute talent on the bench of East Coast Bays, and they haven't really had to use it in the second half because of the scoreline that they've got it to. And this is building, you know, developing the talent up here. The more game time they can get in these situations, the better. Yeah, it's almost like Auckland City just need to at some point try and inject some youth in the future. Just continue to have that succession plan. A lot on the experience today and it just hasn't come off. Now that just turnover from Twig again. Quality, quality footballer, no, football player, Denny Twig. Shouldn't confuse the two. So very much consider it to be a very different sport to football. Yeah. Now it's just a chance here to try and close this out. The Todd Broadhurst coming on. Number 11 shirt. Another big man. Act up in that pivot roll here, and he has a shot first up, first touch, he almost scores, but good defence from Ashby Peckham, the captain for Auckland City. That would have been some start to your final experience, first touch. It reminds me of Andy Carroll, who played a little bit for Liverpool and West Ham in England. Tall man, got that sort of man bun going on. Oh, he's used really effectively in the tertiary camps as well, was Broadhurst. Oh, good, trying to thread it again. All right. Yep. Turn nicely. City have a chance here to break. They need to go quickly though. Ball just not quite as accurate as it needed to be. But trying to counter was Antonio Scotter. He was the intended target. A little chip over the top. Looking for Broadhurst. It's a big man. He'll win the foul. The foul. So foul trouble here for East Coast Bays. Maybe the score line probably doesn't make it as dangerous. Yeah, well now Auckland, when you've got five fouls, and if you're City, you've just got to go at them surely one yep. on one and just try and beat them and just go down and yep. just allow the referee bring the theatre if you have to. Yeah, they've got to just run at them now and, and try and get past them so that they're kind of forced into a foul. So if East Coast Bay's foul now, if you've just joined us, Auckland will get to take it to the 10 metre penalty line, which is that red dot where number 14 in blue is currently standing, which is Sam Twig. Just off his top left-hand shoulder, really. Yeah. In fact, it's just, yeah, sorry, my apologies. That was the six metre penalty. It's the dot just behind him. Not a pretty sombre coaching bench. They go across. Big shot comes. Wayward. A little bit ambitious. But I think what you were saying before, when they get that ball in the middle, that's where they need to be driving in now. There's no point just trying to pass it round. They've got four and a half minutes left here to get six goals back, seven to win it. So you've got to be creating those foul opportunities by running at players. Yeah, go at them. Go at them hard. Try and just weave a little bit of magic, force them to put a foot out and go down. At the moment you touch, go down. And this is an example of it. And it will be. Now, well, City not happy with the call. See a bit of frustration creeping now to Auckland City. And it's not the end of the world though, this one is it? It's not the worst call you could have got. Chance now. 
So Oban Hawkins back on, looking to try and take control and shut this game down. Busy, busy futsal player. And now the big shot does come from Hawkins. Had Broadhurst there, but he didn't see it. I don't think his hands on his head for that. And off came off his line to shut the angle down. And so it'll be Hawkins who will set piece corner. And big Exposito Espinosa getting involved. And he just tries to drill it, hoping to find Broadhurst. And Broadhurst like to see the ball on his noggin. He's got height, hasn't he? Huge man. Todd Broadhurst. Does come across. Another opportunity. 3.48 remains. Broadhurst in possession. And the ball goes out. So Ashby Peckham, the captain. They look to come forward. It's just too easy at the moment. Just getting picked off every time they pass. Another chance here and missed opportunity for Broadhurst. He's had a couple of chances. It hasn't been on for long. Really nice pass. Probably should have done better. Yeah, just a little bit too far in front of him there, but had enough time to take a touch, I think. Exposito Espinosa with the assist. Return. Chance. Turns. Somewhat wishful thinking from Thomas Pickett. And up the other end, Hoban Hawkins. It's been superb today, Sam Twig. And now they make the change and Jason Quinlan back on. So Quinlan, Esp Esposito, Espinosa, Sam Twig and Oban Hawkins. So wonderful four players. Hawkins just creating all sorts of havoc. And there, oh, how did he miss that? You would have put that down to the genius and the brilliance of Oban Hawkins if they had a scored. Lord Hurst, he's already scored one today. And just hits the upright. Hawkins City somehow survive in eighth. And now chance here, and they do score another. And we talk about transition play. That's a great example of it. So East Coast Bays at one end, only for Auckland City to hit them at the other. Nice play there between Josh Margetts and Alec Pardell. No real concern there or celebration <laughs> from Auckland City. I know it's a bridge too far now. Oh, great pass and transition play at the other end. Just like that. Anything you can do, we can do better. Again, class work there from Hawkins. Yeah, Crit Twig involved again. So, 8 2. Nothing going the way of Auckland City. Sometimes that's just the nature of football. I'd like to see this next two minutes 20 out. Yeah. Both teams. Starting to get just a little bit loose defensively now. Now just go long, soak up a bit more time, soak up a little bit more pressure. Clock continues to tick down. Look to push, lovely little one, two. Oh, brilliant. So close for another for Josh Marquette. That was much better from City. Just yeah, too much, too late. Now, so City. To just try and switch it. There's nothing really happening for them now. The heads have just dropped a little bit. Continue to make the changes, picking back on. Josh Margetts comes back down. Stephen Ashby pick him, but they just pick him off nicely. All nasty little challenge too. And this time Oban Hawkins goes down. And how cynical was that? Is that going to be a red card? Or is that going to be a yellow card? 
Have to have another look at this if we can on the replay. Just a yellow show on the end, I think. Game has been played in great spirit, though. The tournament's played, played in great spirit, so an opportunity for here, Twig, looking to try and drill one in. Free kick expert, will he lay it off? No, nope, decides to drill it, keeps it along the ground too, which makes it difficult, but Antonimov does well, gets down. And City now, looking to try and come forward from deep inside their own half. Do come down that left side, but well read, well picked off. Twig again. I to say, he's been superb today, Sam Twig. This is better. A lot more enterprise being shown. Wide though from Thomas Pickett. One minute, eight seconds remain. It's just the way that Pickett ran there with the fifth foul in play. It, the leading leg that was just left out there by one of the East Coast Bay's players haven't seen enough of that since we've got to this fifth foul where they've been running at them. They've kind of stuck to what they've been doing the whole game and something had to change. And now chance here, lovely little back heel. Can he pull the trigger? Looks to thread the needle. Comes back now, the big shot does come in, but shut down nicely in the finish by Josh Bailey, who was on for East Coast Bay's. And then another thundering opportunity. Corner, set piece here for City. They will back themselves to turn this into a goal. And just wayward though. Somewhat lazy shot. We will get interviews from both captains following this game. East Coast Bay's leading by eight goals. City now. Lovely little bit of footwork, great skills, great shot. Superb individual brilliance there from Josh Margetts. Quality player. Gabuglia comes off and Chris Priest will come on. And so a great opportunity for the youngster to get an opportunity in a final. There will be euphoria shortly. The East Coast Bay's clubs rooms, club rooms. They've really been the dominant team here today. In position over this time, but it doesn't really matter. Looking to come back down, great pass, just couldn't quite there. Pardell was arriving, but just arrived a little bit too late from another very good pass from Josh Margetts. 20 seconds now. Chance here to shut it down. City though, we'll look for one more, thread the needle, too easy though, goes back to the captain, number five, four, is Omar Oliveira Silva, one of three Brazilians in this team, and now big long pass, it'll go out, one second left, So it'll be a big moment here for East Coast Bays. And the full-time Hooter goes, and it's East Coast Bays who win the Ford Futsal Super League final in a demolition of the might of Auckland City by eight goals to two. And it'll be a special moment for Eduardo Exposito Espinosa when he lifts that trophy aloft. He's the leading goal scorer. He's been a dominant figure. But congratulations goes to Garbuglia. Oban Hawkins, Eduardo Exposito, Espinosa, Art Twig, Crick Twig, Chris Priest, Maxwell, Bragan, Osmar, Oliveira Silva, Josh Bailey, Jason Quinlan, Todd Broadhurst, Dominic Hawkins, Sam Twig, and Israel Inacio, and of course the wonderful coaching staff of this very impressive East Coast Bays outfit. They've got better as this tournament's progressed. They got off to a great start. They were excellent defensively. They bring an a, a unusual style to futsal. They can play the ultimate team game. But then they also have individuals who can create television highlights. 
like no other side. Now the celebrations begin. Commiserations go to Auckland City. But they're the reason why the likes of East Coast Bays train as hard as they do because they've set the standard for such a long time. We will get reaction from both captains. Mark Matz is standing by. And we'll talk to the winning and losing captains. Never reason for the losing team, but sometimes you've got to learn how to lose to learn how to win. And there'll be lessons in this. And now acknowledging their very solid support base. Here with the winning captain of East Coast Bay, Eduardo Spacito. Mate, you must be pretty happy with that performance. Yeah, it was really good. Like, uh, we talked about it. We got a pretty average game on the, on the group stage against Oakland. And we talked about, like, before the game that we got a really good squad. Everything starts from defence. Uh, we show who's the better team. And what's the conversation that you had last night after going down 4-2 to them? To then bounce back today with a massive performance? Yeah, we talked about what we did, what we did wrong and pretty much was uh, defensively they play in a 4-0 so they were making a lot of damage on the middle with uh, those one two and the back post and we talked about it before the game and we knew what we have to do to get this game i guess eight two is a pretty yeah. commanding victory who for you really stood out today um i think our keeper and also some of the young boys like dom oven and denny they are the future so yeah i think the, those three they they, they were some mention Thanks so much. Congratulations. Thank you. Here with the coach of East Coast Bay, Sam. You must be pretty happy with that performance. Oh, I'm stoked. The boys brought it today. Um, Scoreline says it all. Really proud of them. What was your message to the team before the game today? I just said to Eduardo, you know, you went down to Auckland City yesterday. How do you bounce back with a performance like that? Oh, energy. You heard us on the bench. You heard us on the court. We were all up in it. Didn't, didn't give them a second. All up in their space the whole time. Um, and it worked. And for you, I mean, you've got some young talent coming through there and I guess some older players as well. Who stood out for you today? Uh, I've got to give credit to my captain, Eduardo. Well, class player. Everyone learns from him. But I've got to give a special shout out to Denny. He's been extraordinary the past two weekends and I, my eye is probably our, our best player this the, both weekends the Super League. Well, congratulations, Sam. Thank well you. played. Thank you. Here with the captain of Auckland City, Stephen Ashby Peckham. Stephen, you must be gutted. Yeah, really gutted. Uh, we put in so much hard work for, for this one game to play in the final and then to come out and put a performance out like that, it's just really, really disappointing. Uh, but yeah, well done to East Coast Bays, they, they were amazing, they were super clinical and yeah, can't take anything away from them. If you had to put your finger on something now, I know it's quite raw and emotional at this time, where do you think it went wrong? Uh, just, just mistakes that we were making and uh, yeah, credit to them, they capitalised on them. Uh, we made some, some silly errors and they were good enough to capitalise and put, put the goals away. Uh, but we didn't take our chances. We, we created a few, but weren't clinical on the other end. And um, yeah, so well done to them. And do you think yesterday's result played at all into today's game? I don't think so. Um, I think we were prepared well coming into this game. Um, we didn't think we lost any momentum or anything as of yesterday. And yeah, we, we were coming in confident that we could put on a good show and uh, be, you know, have a good chance of winning. But this wasn't the case today. Well, congratulations anyway. I know you guys will be back. Cheers, mate. Well, there you have it, another Ford Super League done and dusted. Big wins today for East Coast Bays and Papakura in the women's. Thank you so much for joining us here live on Sky Sport. Until next time, thanks very much.